Hi, it's Rowan Reed here. This little video talks about pruning of redwoods for timber. If you don't prune redwoods, they grow heavy branches down to ground level, particularly if they're out in the open on a farm like this one, just down the road from our Bamberger Forestry Farm. But on our farm, we pruned the trees when they were much younger, working our way up to about eight meters over a period of five or six years. And that's now created a parkland of tall trees with high quality timber down low. Pruning has also allowed us to spate the trees out like this in a more parkland environment. So here I am pruning up trees that are about 10 or 12 years old, growing in pasture that's been grazed since they were planted. I'm pruning every tree up to where I can see that the stem is about 8 centimetres in diameter. That means that I prune each tree to its individual growth habit, rather than prune every tree to the same height. I'm using electric pole secateurs. These are a neat little tool. I've got a battery on the back, secateurs fixed into a telegraphic pole. It allows me to reach up to four or five meters or so. It's very quiet, easy work, and quite rewarding. This technique is ideal for redwoods. Notice how the branches grow very horizontally out from the stem. That's a genetic characteristic where the main trunk grows up against gravity and the branches go horizontal with gravity. That makes pruning from below underneath the branch very easy. You could use a pole saw, uh, but the sawdust falling down on top of me is not much fun. So this process takes about three or four minutes per tree and you're approaching every tree every year. Here I am just taking a few epicormics off that have merged since last pruning and then working up the stem. In this case, I can reach up to about almost five and a half or six metres with this pole, which I've actually extended over and above the commercially available one, so I can reach that little bit higher. To go higher than that, to reach eight metres, which is my goal, I'll actually use a small ladder and use that to get up the first couple of metres and reach up further with the pole. I find that with redwoods, you don't really need to climb up to the tree and use hand tools because the branches are so horizontal. Very different case in eucalypts and many other species where I tend to prune from a ladder because I have to get up there with hand, hand saws and pruning loppers as well. I've had this electric pruning kit for about eight or ten years now. It has a battery pack that I wear on my back. Uh, the new model, the F3015, has a much smaller battery that you fix onto your belt, which makes it much easier. The, what you're buying here is a hand piece and a battery pack and that was what people use in the vineyards and the orchard pruners. What you do then is you buy the maxi head option. And you take off the cutting head off the small unit, add the maxi head, and that allows you to cut much larger branches. Then that handpiece fits in the end of the telescopic pole. I bought the 3.5 metre pole, which uh, converts down to about 1.8 metres and then out to 3.5. As I said in this example here, I've actually extended it a little bit more using another unit. But in most cases, 3.5 would be most, most appropriate for most users. It's the longest one they've got. If you're interested in getting hold of a unit, please feel free to email me and I can provide uh, uh, some suggestions and uh, even a quote because we've got a relationship with the, the importer of these units that come from Europe. So for those of you just with hand tools, redwood and other species like it, silky oak and others that have these horizontal branches, uh, certainly the easiest trees to prune. Uh, as I said before, I climb all the eucalypts and uh, other species after I've gone through and used the electric pruners for whichever trees that I can actually do from the ground. If you need any more information about pruning, go to our website, it's listed there. Or there's a chapter on redwood and lots of notes on pruning in my new book, Heartwood, that you can also get from our website or in bookshops. Thank you.